In this presentation, we're going to look at present and future value of single sum amounts and how we would calculate them. First, let's go in and define what we're talking about here. Say, for example, we have a loan either payable or receivable, and it has what we call a present value here at the beginning of a time period. And then out in the future, it has a future value. Now, the future value is dependent on the interest rate that we apply to that loan, and it also has a time frame here. So in this, ex in this example, we're going to use four periods, and let's call them four years. So it has an inter yearly interest rate up here. Looking at the first case, uh, where we have a present value that is unknown, and we'd have to know the future value that's known here, we take that future value and discount it back to determine its present value here using the time periods that it, the length of time that we discount it back and a, and a known interest rate. Now the second case would be where we know its present value of the loan for example and we discount that present value into the future here to determine its future value knowing the interest rate and again the length of, of time. Let's go and look at how we do that. Let's take the case here, and this it has a present value of $2,732, that loan. And what we do is say it has an interest rate of 10% here. So we take that yearly interest rate times the $2,732, and we get the interest expense or revenue for the year. Now we add that to the first of the year balance, and we get the ending end of year balance here. Then we take this end of year balance on year one, and it becomes the beginning balance of year two. Now we use that, we multiply it times that interest rate again, this beginning balance, and we get our interest expense or revenue for the year. We add that to the beginning balance, and we get the ending balance for um, the second year. And then the second year becomes the third year. We repeat that process until we get um, the end of the fourth year. We get a, what its future value is here. So here we determine its future value based on its present value. And then the reverse would be true if you, if the future value is unknown, you'd go back through the same uh, scenario here to determine its present value. So just looking back at what we have done here, in order to do th these uh, present and future values, we have to know uh, three of the four variables. And you know, the variables here is the present value, future value, the interest rate, and the time frame we're talking about. So if we're trying to determine its present value, we use the present value function in our calculator or an Excel pro, uh, function here and to determine the unknown amount here, its present value. And then in the case here, we are trying to determine its future value. We'd use the future value function in our calculator or, or an ex Excel function here to determine uh, the future value here based on a known present value amount, time frame, and then interest rate. So this is just an overview of um, present values and future values and, and how they're determined based on this, this interest rate per year and then or interest rate over um, a time frame. In this case we used a yearly time frame and an, an interest rate that corresponded to a yearly interest rate.